here's another one of those mysteries that uh, would be difficult to solve um, if you really didn't understand what in the heck was going on. And of course, I'm referring to a beam here. This porch beam doesn't have anything underneath it. It's not sitting on top of the post. What in the heck is supporting it? Now, here's a better picture. I've got an arrow pointing to it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and zoom in on it to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, and I do need to say one thing. I don't want to get carried away here. There is a T bracket on the other side that is holding up the, uh, or I should say partially responsible for holding up the um, beam here. Now here's a bracket on the other side. It looks like a little L bracket. Um, and again, I would have took a picture on the other side, but most of the time I don't get all the pictures I want. So you're just going to have to bear with me. Um, so you can see the bracket there is holding the other post or making a post to beam connection. But the other side of the beam is actually sitting on top of the post. So it uh, realistically is has a nice a solid uh, solid connection there it's got a bracket connecting it to the post and uh, it, and of course the the porch beam is actually sitting on top of the six by six now I would like to take a look at the span you can see we got about an eight foot span here that the um, beam is holding up and of course you can put a little bit of the strength to the cantilever in the beam because it's obviously not spliced over the post or at least it doesn't look like it is sometimes when i make these videos i realize that uh, i can't see some of the things in there but i'm assuming that the beam um, is uh, is basically about a 16 footer and you do have a little section of it that would be held up through a cantilevered area. I was going to point out that the sheeting, the roof sheeting, the one by eight or one by six, whatever we got there, could be holding up the roof. And again, this would, this the one by six could actually support a lot of weight if it's running through. But if you take a closer look, you go back to the last picture and you will see that there's clearly, um, the, there's a break and all you got to do is look at one side of the roof rafter that's next to the little uh, partial wall there. Um, so that would be in this picture here, it would be the rafter to the far left. Uh, and if you look on one side, you have the 1x6 or 1x8 and on the other side, they are, aren't um, lining up perfectly. So it tells me that's where they broke the one by six or one by eight uh, sheeting there. So that realistically wouldn't be holding up this post, uh, I mean this beam either. So again, sometimes we run into things that don't really make a lot of sense. And uh, you know, on a new job, you would have something like this would be over-engineered. Um, so again, another mystery unsolved by the construction world, who knows? Maybe someone out there has a solution to this problem, and uh, we'd love to hear you share it with us.